At the start of the 2021 school year, Numworks made the decision to close down third-party development on their calculator, preventing custom firmware and other things people had made for the calculator, such as a CAS and various emulators for old consoles. This was a big deal, because unlike other calculator companies, Numworks had built their entire platform on being open to programmers and had now decided to go back on their original intentions, only to make more profit. The calculator community was extremely disappointed, and Omega, a custom firmware for the Numworks, was discontinued. In March of 2022, hints from the Omega community began appearing online, suggesting a revival of the project and later a new software called Phi. People interested in the Numworks calculator began to guess at what was going to be announced, speculating that it could be adding support for a newer NO120 model being released later in the year, or possibly an entirely new custom firmware. However, they wouldn't have to wait long. On March 27th, the Omega team released an update to Omega, along with a tool called Phi, made by Maxime, one of their lead developers. Phi was a jailbreak which could install a custom bootloader onto the calculator, bypassing the lock which Numworks had set up and allowing the usage of custom firmware. It also provided the option to dual boot both the original firmware along with a custom one. This meant that you were able to continue getting the latest updates and features from Numworks while still retaining the abilities and functionalities of an unlocked calculator. Fire relied on an exploit dubbed Screen Hacks, which made it possible to use the SVC18 display driver on the calculator to overwrite the kernel stack allowing them to trick the calculator into doing things it shouldn't normally do, thus being able to unlock and modify the internal flash. The internal flash was divided into two sections, slot A and slot B, making it possible to install separate firmware to each one. The Phi bootloader took advantage of this, allowing for the dual boot system. It was a very exciting moment in the history of Numworks development, but it wouldn't be long before the company would return with another blow. On March 28th, only a day after Phi was released, Numworks pushed out an update to their operating system patching the exploit which had been used by Phi. Omega responded by publishing a link to the old firmware on the Numworks website, allowing users to downgrade their calculator by running a Python script and following some steps on the Omega website. Not long after, Numworks removed the files from their website, meaning it was no longer possible to downgrade, as it was illegal to redistribute the OS. Despite being illegal, various Redditors posted links to re-uploaded copies of the OS on the Numworks subreddit. Numworks obviously wasn't happy about this, and they quickly removed the posts containing the files. However, this wasn't the last time the files would be re-uploaded. A few days later, a YouTube tutorial for unlocking the calculator was published, including a link to the files necessary for downgrading. Numworks was quick to find and copyright claim the video, removing it and forcing the creator to upload a version without the file. While most sources are gone, the file is still available to download over IPFS at the time of this video, though keep in mind that it isn't legal to do so due to copyright law. This all brings us to the question, have we reached the end of the locked Numworks? Sadly, I don't think it's truly the end until Numworks makes the decision to undo the changes they've made on their own which might never happen. But, despite Numworks' attempts to stop it, it is still possible to install Phi and unlock your calculator, provided that it is on an OS below 18.2.3. If you want to unlock your calculator, you can find more information on how to do so at guide.getomega.dev. That's not to say that the official Numworks firmware isn't worth anything, and it continues to be updated frequently, so if you've missed the opportunity to unlock your calculator, it's still perfectly functional. Just be sure to keep an eye out for future updates to Phi, which might allow installation on newer versions. If you want to speak out against the oppression of third-party development on the Numworks platform, there's a petition on change.org which I'll link in the description. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to leave your opinion on the actions taken by Numworks in the comments below. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to ask me, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing if you haven't yet. This has been Tiny Hacker, and I hope to see you in the next video.